Hello and welcome back to THL 2018 round 8 and it takes us to France here. So um, yeah, last time out in Canada we got our second ever pole position um, starting on the Hypersofts and um, unfortunately we weren't able to convert that into a win. Um, the likes of Cosio, Wattmaster um, and 50 Laren were just so, far, so fast that race. But we had a really nice battle with um, Ventro Ventrox in the end. 4p3, um, 4p4 sorry, and in the end I managed to prevail, so that was a really good race that, so just hoping to carry on the momentum into this race, of course Jaeger is back, so um, yeah, we are down to 20 points between me and him in the championship, um, so again, I was actually hoping to close that down again, um, because this is one of the few tracks where I was actually faster than him in time trial, I did a 29.7 um, leading up to AOR, and I was actually able to slash another tenth of that, um, coming into this race, um, making my time actually nearly three tenths faster than Jaeger. Um, of course, Jaeger, a real, real race specialist compared to Quali, so I was almost hoping to really qualify ahead of him um, for once, and then um, almost just sort of maintain that uh, in the race. But you can see, it's not the best lap on the Super Softs. Um, my banker on the Ultra Softs was pretty slow, um, so I could just improve it on the Super Softs because, unlike AOR, I'm actually pretty confident I can qualify in the top ten. So. I don't really want to be starting on the Ultra Softs because that's really committing me to a two-stop. And I think that's what the likes of Ping Tu is doing. I mean, that's another thing. Ping Tu Hai back after a few month break um, after I think um, he injured his leg or something. So it's really nice to see him back as well. Um, and all the TGL guys um, coming into this league. So it's going to be much more competitive. But we're going to cross the line. We actually set the same time as we set on the Ultra Softs last week in AOR. So a much better lap. Um, it's still only good enough to get us ninth. But once again, we get beaten by Jaeger by a shocking two frames. So the amount of times he's beaten us by three hundredths of a second is, I think, three or four times now. It's beginning to get a bit on my nerves. But you can see Kozia, a 29.6, which is what I did in time trial on the Super stuff. So this guy, absolute league of his own right now after winning, of course. Um, actually, I, I, don't, it, I know he won in um, Spain. I, actually, he didn't even win in Spain, so I don't actually think he's got a win all season. Um, but he's been second a lot of times now, so he's definitely threatening my position for P2 in the championship as um lights out and away we go we actually don't get as bad a start as we normally do but we actually are going to get a bit held up behind Lucario Freak and that's going to allow Wattmaster to get a mad start he gains a few positions so does Zanyut as we're going to try to go up the inside of Wattmaster you can see he's actually oh, we're going to hold it around the outside and there goes Lucario Freak he completely plows into guys who've slowed down and there's a big pile up and we now find ourselves three positions up and Jaeger now finds himself P3 from um, P8 on the grid, so a brilliant start from Jaeger, and it was a brilliant start from me as well because of that, all that pileup, which really involved about five or so cars. Um, I am actually a few positions behind my rival, so I want to quickly get past these guys if I want any chance of fighting for Jaeger um, in the championship. Of course, our last season in THL, I was actually sort of in the championship fight up until about mid-season, so I really want to hopefully sustain it a bit longer. Um, I probably won't be able to beat him in the end because Jaeger is just that fast. And so um, I have quickly, I have actually recently received the wheel, um, as some of you may know already. And I, I plan to practice on that over the holidays. And hopefully by the time I get back um, in January, I will be on the wheel. And um, I should be able to bring the fight to Jaeger again because I haven't been properly able to challenge him since 2017. But you can see Marcus is, um, we are able to get the position of him. But I think he tried to get us back into the last corner, he completely plows us. And that's the third incident we've had with him in three races. Of course, um, he took, accidentally took us out into Turn 1 in Monaco. And he also held us up in Canada qualifying. So it's beginning to get, um, get a bit frustrating between me and him. But um, again, I know he didn't do it intentionally. As um, yeah, It really put us off our rhythm though. We're beginning to drop off Sanyut. Um, you see we've got the squad behind us. We've got, um, I think, three people behind us. As you can see, that's actually Cryptoct upper inside. As we're going to actually get... Um, we're going to try to defend the position. But we actually get tagged again by Ventrox. And he then gets two positions. Um, three positions even, and Pixelmeister is going to get us as well, we're down three positions, Cryptox is down a position, I think Ventrox tagged us there, so I was a bit pissed as well, um, that's the second time I've been tagged, and it just really compounds the gap between me and Jaeger, um, considering this is one of the tracks I want to bring the fight trim on, and again we're going to get a penalty, and this was not going well for me now, um, after such a good start, um, we're now down to eight after losing three positions, and um, yeah, I mean, we're about, uh, surely going to lose a few more, you can see Cryptox, I'm um, going a bit wide, we're going to get the position off him, I don't know if he let us through or not, um, like he did um, last week, of course, but you can see Pink Tawai's already in the pits, but that doesn't really um, get, help us much, we're still going to probably be P8 overall, 
which is quite disappointing. And you see Pixelmice just disappearing up the road, already chasing off in terms of search of Shanyats. But by this point, my tyres were literally dying. You can see my Delta's two and a half seconds slower um, than my PB lap. And I don't know what it is, but I'm just not able to sustain the tyres in this game. And my first stints are really suffering as a result. Um, I think I did an extra lap in qualifying on these tyres, but still, they're completely dead already. And I'm losing so much time, it's ridiculous. As I'm now trying to... Um, Cryptox actually gets us on his softs and he completely disappears off the road. Pink to is now going to get us. He's all pit stop ahead of us. And you can see how much time we're losing. We're losing two, two, three seconds a lap um, just because of the ties. And I, I don't know how Jaeger is able to sustain such good pace. But um, I, I don't know if it's us on the throttle or what. But we're just not good um, towards the end of the stint. And we're actually going to double stack now with Jaeger um, on the pad as well. We're both going to dive in early. Um, and we actually held a bit. We're actually going to get a four second stop. Even though I was about ten seconds behind them. So... Yeah, the double stack really costly, um, and we're going to come out um, maybe side by side with Marcus's, but um, we could even be behind him as a result of the double stack. Um, but yeah, still, it was not going well at this point. Um, coming out in what will be P9 now, as you can see, Marcus is going to actually get us on the exit. He's going to be side by side. You can see that's actually Wattmaster, um, I think, behind him as well. And Wattmaster is one of the fastest guys here. So um, yeah, I could easily find myself outside the points. In a league which I should consistently be getting podiums on. Yes, albeit there are eight, um, TGL guys here. And Cozzy is pretty untouchable. But I, I, I should still be top 5 quite comfortably. Um, so the fact that I'm battling now for P10 um, with these guys is quite um, disconcerting. Um, so I don't think Wattmaster is having the greatest races at all. Considering he is probably faster um, than most of the people here. But yeah, we get past Marcus again. And um, we're back into P8. But you can see Jaeger is a whole 14... 0.7 seconds ahead of us in at 12 laps so considering i was three tenths faster than them in time trial to be a second slower than a lap in the race place just shows how much i'm losing i mean three seconds a lap is crazy i don't know where i'm losing the time um yeah, the tires just die so quickly on medium traction so i don't know maybe i might go back to full traction because um until i get my wheel sorted because i don't know although my one lap pace is probably a second a lap slower if i can actually sustain that pace then maybe it might be beneficial, I'm not sure um, at this point. So I probably will have to do a test in the coming weeks. But yeah, we're going to get um, the position of Ventrox back inside the top six. But are we still going to have these? I think this is the highest we're going to get at this point because you can see Ventrox is closing in on us. Um, and you can see up ahead, we're actually not a million miles away from, the, from second, third and fourth. Um, as you can see, we're actually um, overtaking a lap car and Ventrox is really close to us now. But um, yeah, I think Ping to I, um, Pixelmeister and Jaeger um, you can see them just about on the minimap um, as we go into Sector 3. And they're quite a long way ahead of us still though. As Ventrox gets the position off us, we're demoted to 7th. And um, we've got about 15, 16, uh, I think we've got 12, 15 seconds of penalties by this point. So it's not going well. And it doesn't help again as we pick up another straight 3 second penalty. And I think that adds us up to um, 15 or 18, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I just really need to keep the gap behind. And um, as you can see, we cross the line. Um, yeah, it was P7 in the end. Um, Ventrox disappeared up the road. Managed to get Sanyats. But you can see Wattmaster 15 seconds behind us. And we have 18 seconds worth of penalties. So I was really worried right now. Because Wattmaster tends to be cooning. And sure enough, he crosses the line. And we get demoted another position. And that's just compound interest, really. To a race I really want to forget after that. Um, it was such a good start. I could have easily got a podium from there. But my tyres just died. I had no pace. And the rest of the race was just me slipping through the field. As Wattmaster will gain the position. When he was 15 seconds behind us, because I just don't like the penalty system on this game as well. As you can see, we look at the results. Kozia wins dominantly in the end. Jaeger, with not that many penalties, um, gets second place. And uh, it's really good for us in the constructors, but it just sort of um, compounds the fact that Jaeger is in the, well, well ahead of me now this season. Um, he's going to extend the gap to 32 points um, as a result of basically jumping Pixelmice and Pink, Pink Too High. Pink Too High getting 21 seconds of penalties. Ventrox manages to get P5 once again. Um, just driving a much cleaner race than I have. Um, yeah, very disappointing there. But um, as we head on to the actual standings, you can see Kozia actually jumps us quite considerably after taking a really nice win in the end. Um, he was by far the fastest guy all, um, all, all weekend. But you can see Jaeger picking out that P2. He still retains a 20-point lead in the championship after a really good comeback drive, to be honest, from P8 on the grid. Um, and you can see the likes of... Um, it's actually a really tight midfield. But as we go on to the constructors, McLaren are closing us in slowly, um, bit by bit. Um, but we still have quite a comfortable lead for the time being. Red Bull P3, um, Renault P4. But that's going to be it. So see you next time. Hopefully I can get a better race in Austria.